good reports are able to tell a story about the data that is actually on screen for your end users. So when you have the choice to have a single value like this card, or you can have the situation where you have an actual process or an actual story to tell about that card, you should always look at this version of that same card. That is actually a custom visual that I'm going to show you in this video. I was introduced to this visual by a Power BI colleague from Delegate. Per, if you're seeing this, thanks for sharing your insights. Per mentioned that in reports, we should shy away from showing only numbers that share a single value. Because with a single value, we cannot tell if that number that we're seeing is better or worse compared to the previous month, quarter or year. The card which states visual provides, with that, uh, provides you with that much needed extra context. And it provides a ton of formatting options that we're going to look at today. Now, OKFizz is a company that we've seen previously when we discussed the synoptic panel related to the risk matrix report. Today, we're going to look at the card with states visual. And I already have it in my report, so there's no need for me to add it again. But if you want to grab it, just click on the OK Fizz or Card with States, and you'll be sure to find it here. Now be aware that this is a certified visual. That means that it will also show up in your PowerPoint extracts as well as your PDF extracts. There's an option to download a, a sample data set, but I created my own data set here, so we're going to work with that. Click on add and it will show up in your visuals section. Now be aware that I'm looking at the November update version of Power BI, uh, which has a very different way of building the visual as well as formatting your report. In this report, I'm working with a small data set with year values, sales values, and I created a DAX formula for the previous year compared to the current year sales. Now I can showcase that DAX formula, obviously. And be aware that if you subscribe to the newsletter, you get access to this file as well as other files that I share on the YouTube channel. Sales previous year is just a calculation of the sum values for sales compared to the previous year in that same date range. Now, if you look at the stats here, we see that the sales by year, it is stale and then it goes up, then it goes down a bit and then it goes up again. So if we look at the 2021 sales, we will see a rise, uh, but we won't see that in our classical card. Just have a look. If I click on 2021, I see just a number on the left side on the classical card. There's no real story being told here compared to the right side where we have the card with states visual it has the option to showcase that that we're actually performing 16 percent better than the previous year and it is all this is all related to that dax formula that sales previous year that i have and in case you're wondering which visual I have on top, this is actually the tree view visual or the tree map visual that I'm uh, using with a slight trick that Boss shared in his channel. So I'll put a link in the show notes there as well, because I found it a very nice way of visualizing um, uh, slicer information a bit more, a bit different from the usual slicer. So I'll put a link in the show notes and boss, thanks for doing your work. Your channel is just excellent. So looking at the cards with states, um, if we dive into that, there is a lot of things that we can do. We have our measures, we have a category, we have targets, and then we have measure for comparison, conditions, state messages, trend line, access, tool tips, and everything has this little question mark in here. And that gives you more information. Set additional measures to be included in the card tooltip. Uh, but for instance, conditions, what does that say? Set measures for, to define states and uh, comparison, measure for comparisons. Set the measure to use the check states, conditions. In its most simple state, 
we just have our, our measure, which is our current value, and our target, which is the previous year. So we're comparing to the target when it comes to our measure. Now the magic, the real magic for this card happens in the formatting for your visual. It has a couple of values. It has a ton of values. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we set the right values. So for this, I'll look at the states. And from the states, I can, for instance, set they change the color of the reference label. Now, remember where I had the 2021 value, the change or the color change is in the reference. And if I change that to, for instance, be the background, I can see that the background is now green, which is a bit screamy, if you ask me, so I won't be using that. But I can also change the data label itself and say, that, well, we're doing better than we used to. But for me, it made sense to have that on the reference label. So the conditions value can also be on absolute value or percentage of change on target or change over target. And the comparison is currently on the greater than. So if sales is greater than the previous year, then it will turn green. This is the exact condition that I set on my target. As you can see here, sales is greater than the sales on previous year, then aligned to the color green. Now I can maybe set multiple targets because I also have values that are going down. So I have 2018 as a negative value. Now I don't have that negative value here yet. So let's see how I can do that. Maybe I can set a condition, condition one, and I cannot is sales is less than insert a measure let's try that nope so maybe i should have that condition one in here as well and i can navigate back navigate to sales i can say smaller than previous year and I'll turn it red. Let's see what happens. No, now it turns everything red. Navigating to cart with states. Greater than condition is greater than sales condition. And this one is reverted back. And this might be something that actually aligns to a premium feature. And because the premium feature is free, I would actually argue that, that everyone should have that. So let's turn on that premium. And the premium can be turned on if you navigate to Car, uh, the OKFIS OK website and ask for a premium version. So I have the information here on a notepad. So you can click on this if you don't have that yet. Uh, but for me, I have that licensing key already. And let's grab that and let's insert that here and I see that I'm valid. So yes, I have that premium feature available now. And with that premium, I have additional options. I can now use the multi-card feature. Um, I can now have multiple states. I have the option to click on the advanced states in which we can decide the conditions to enable and disable, define multiple comparison operators, one for each condition, and I can choose the order of conditions. So let's click on the advanced states and let's explore that a little bit. With the condition, I now see that there's on and off values here as well. I can have additional conditions for each and every one of the sales values. I can also click on the condition of target, which is the one that I selected here, 
when sales is greater than uh, sales for previous year, it is green. Well, that is still the case. So I do want to keep that one. I also can say sales is less than, less than or equal to, and I can assign a red color. Insert a condition here. So maybe I am able to, uh, I can even set a hard coded value here, which is also good. When sales is less than, <laughs> I can set a hard status here. So that's good. But I want to have the option to set a comparison. So maybe I would do a measure for comparison. Maybe I'll put that into the conditions. Let's navigate to the condition again. So if the value of sales is less than sales, no. <laughs> if the value of sales, let's see, let's see. If sales is less or equal than sales for previous year, then it will turn red. Don't apply other conditions if this is met. Well, that is good because then it only measures that condition. And then we have sales is greater than, it will turn up green, which is exactly what we want. So let's have a look at what happens if we navigate to 2018. And now it turns up red. Awesome. So with that premium feature, we have additional values that we can add to our labels and we can turn up not just one conditional formatting, but all kinds of conditional formatting. Now, because I don't want to keep you too long for this video, I want to also address that OKFizz OK has a card with states visual representation with everything that can be done and just have a look there. There's options to format. There's the representations on the left, on the right. There's there's this nice little feature where it shows different colors for different values. And one thing that I really like is the option to see how it progresses through time. If you want me to do a deep dive session about this and how to visualize that based on our data, I might be doing a follow up to show you that as well. Suffice to say, Cart with States is an advanced visual that helps you visualize a story instead of just a single value. Are we doing better or worse compared to last year, last month or last quarter? That is the key thing that this visual brings to the table. If you like this visual, you might want to check it out yourself. I'll put a link in the show notes. And you might also want to dive into the synaptic panel visual that I reviewed previously. With that, like and subscribe if you thought this video was useful. And make sure to subscribe to the newsletter to get this file. And I hope to see you back at the Project Corner.